<sighs> sorry about this. Sorry about this, Neil. Like, I thought my mic was on, and it turns out it wasn't, and I figured that out until way, way later, and it really kind of sucks. Uh, basically, what I was talking about is that the, you were talking about this. Okay, let me, let me, let me go and pull up your comment again. Sorry. Oh, Jesus. I'm going to have to fix that, too. Hold up. Okay. You were basically talking about, I basically, you know, you were talking about how people were saying, I said that. I said that the comic was too. People said that the comic was too serious because they don't understand it. Basically, I told you about Kappa and saying that you're basically not going to. We're basically probably not going to get fined or taken anywhere um, because YouTube lied about that. The Sadium stuff I basically talked about was basically me saying that you know Sonic and Sally kind of rip on each other in Sonic Sadium, but they. It's only the mass comments they feel about each other. It's no trope, but it's what it is. Then they started talking about Yakuza. Then we started talking. Then they started talking about Ash and made a very funny penis joke. I'm sorry you didn't need to hear that. It's just you know. But basically, my takeaway was this. I didn't make. I didn't make that video to talk about this again. It was mostly to kind of, you know, kind of jab, kind of take a jab at Night of the Wind, because Night of the Wind was the one that was making the was making a um, making a video series looking at random Sonic comics and just going, it's weird, it's weird, it's not funny, it's all this other stuff, and um, I just kind of hated it, because literally, by saying it's weird and saying that. Saying that it's weird and I don't like this and I think this is stupid is really fucking dumb because you're not actually telling jokes. You're just making blank you're just making blanket blanketed observations. You know? Observations a fucking kid can make. You're not actually telling jokes. That's the thing that I got really mad at in this video. Now it's not like I don't want to talk about issue seven issue one seven Issue 34, because trust me, I always probably talk about it. I don't think I'll ever escape it. But it's the thing, it's the thing about it, Neil, is that the fact that I got it, I got to basically. The thing is, I made that video on the grounds of that alone, and you know, really, it's not me making, it's not me just digging into Sonic. It's me basically digging in the night of the wind because he's not making jokes. It's not a funny thing he's doing. He's just basically going, ah, Sonic and Sonic together. Isn't that weird? Ah, these characters have emotional depth. Isn't that weird, everybody? These characters are doing this, that, and third. Is that isn't that weird? That's why I don't like. That's why I don't like freaking. That's why I didn't like. That's why it's only not a win. He hasn't. He hasn't made a video in a long time. He hasn't come back. But it's like. This is how I feel about it because it's like he's not actually making he's not actually making any jokes. He's just going, "Ain't that weird?" And you know, people who haven't read these comics are gonna be like, "Well, I heard from freaking Mister Knight of the Wind that anybody who wants reads these comics are a bunch of fuckholes." <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry. That was a Jay and Silent Bob joke. But they're going to be like, oh, well, I heard that this was stupid for, like, a bunch of edgelords. Because, you know, he doesn't really show why this comic, why do people come back to it, why people read it. He just thinks it's weird and creepy and all this other shit. And it's really just him not making any observations. Now, I do like all your, I do like the comic you gave me. It was really awesome. It was really amazing. And I want to just tell you that, honestly, I do appreciate your comment. It's just like I really like the the why I made that video. It just still kind of pisses me off because legit, it still makes me mad because like again, uh, again, Night of the Wind was like, well, this is weird. And it doesn't like he picks uh he picks like comics between the arcs. He isn't around anymore, so you don't have to make like a comment to him or anything like that. Uh, you know, he's probably just done like some of the other Sonic Tubers. I don't want to 
deal with no static, you know what I mean? Um, but I hate how Nyla Wynn does that because, because, you know, he even references me in one of my videos saying, context, I'm like, oh, so you understand what the fuck I was trying to say, don't, you understand what the fuck I was trying to say, motherfucker? Well, you're not really trying to actually do it. And he's like, well, anybody who says that, you know, that I don't know what I'm doing, they're just, they're, they just part of the Sonic, the same Archie Sonic code. No, I'm part of the dudes who say, hey, maybe you should read some of the, maybe you should read the comic before this so you understand what's going on and you don't look like a complete asshole. Therefore, you can craft more jokes around a certain situation. Because let me tell you, motherfucker, that's comedy. Fuck. Like, seriously. Seriously, it, it, it really makes me mad that, that freaking... See, because when I do reactions, right, I at least try to make it funny for the audience. What does fucking... What does fucking Madeline do? Oh, I don't like this. I'm gonna make funny voices. I I, I I don't like this. This is stupid. Oh my god, get kid into slavery. I don't like this. It's just it, it, it just goes like that. And trust me, I understand. I wish I wish the games did have a good story. I think that I think that Ash is basically kind of an asshole that never really had an actual arc ending his hatred of Sonic. I feel like I feel like a lot of things could have been reworked with Ash a little bit. I feel like the slap shouldn't have happened the way it did. Because there's an alternate there was an alternate version which showed that Sonic and Sally talk about it. It was fan made, but it made more sense. And even though we got me and you both have story reasons for why it happened. Nevertheless, it shouldn't have happened the way that it did because a person by the name of Jonathan H. Gray wanted to be like, This is for my ship! Do I think Sonic Do I think Sonic and Mina could work out as a couple? I don't think they would last long. I feel like Mina would be that supportive girlfriend. The kind who... Supports you no matter what you do. You know, and Sally, again, was not in her feelings. It's just the way that the slap came about and the real reason it's it's there. That's what still kind of pisses me off. But, you know, that, you know, that was before I even knew about that. And trust me, now, it's not like I hate your comment. I don't. I actually do love it, and I actually did. Before I found out I didn't have any audio, that's my fault. Really, was really taking it down piece by piece. And, um, it just, it just, to me, to me, it just, um, I just feel like, and Sally, Sally's parents, to me, were idiots, because I don't care what King Maximilian says, Sonic deserved to be with Sally, or at least try to marry him, Instead of them having him marry, married off to anti-Antoine. Of course, they didn't know this, but it was still stupid. But I feel like they were just driving up drama because of it. That's why people keep calling this Archie Sonic comics a very soap opera. Which, I don't really believe. But then again, comics in, in themselves are just soap operas in a, in a way. But not, not, that, not to an extent where it's like, eh. I just feel like if people have this disconnect whenever Sonic gets serious, because they're like, oh, Sonic, gotta go fast, ooh, but when, but when there's a modicum of seriousness, all these motherfuckers want to make videos about how Sonic shouldn't be serious, Sonic is just a character who runs fast and grabs rings and fights Dr. Robotnik, and that shouldn't be more than what he is, and I hate that. I hate, absolutely hate that. Like... You have no idea. I absolutely, I absolutely fucking loathe that idea because it's not really a, it's it's really a freaking stupid idea. So you don't think that Sonic, it's like you don't think that Sonic should progress. You don't think that Sonic should move 
forward? No, he always has to be a blue hedgehog who runs fast and doesn't say a word. I don't like that. I like that Sonic actually can talk. I like the fact that Sonic, you know, three games may not be bad, but at least they're trying to do something, even though they're really feeling bad at it. They're trying to do something. You know, I hate the freaking, sometimes the classic fans that want to act like complete idiots. I hate the modern, I like the modern fans I don't really get too mad at, but I do hate it when they're bitching about the classic fans, like they don't, like, like classic Sonic never, like, classic Sonic never existed. I really, really fucking hate, I really hate, um, I really hate, you know, Ash Mongoose and how he never really developed, I think that because Jonathan H. Gray did all that stuff, you know, it's, you know, this issue will forever be tainted as the day Sally slapped Sonic and you know, all that other stuff. It's just really, it's just really stupid, and I really wish that we, you know, there was another alternate version that it wasn't tainted that we can all read. Uh, but back to Night of the Wind. Like, this is the this is the reason I do the Sonic Refresher course, though. Because all these people really do think that Sonic is just, this, you know, stuff is too serious for Sonic. And I'm like you. I don't, I feel like we have, we have dumb, we have, like, we have, like, Sonic that's not really doing much of anything. You know, just doing, you know, just making clips and shit. That's, uh, that's okay. But it's like, Sonic had, the thing about Archie Sonic is that Sonic had more than just, I'm a quip, I'm a quippy asshole. He had more than just that. He had, he had actual honest to God character. And that's why I miss that continuity. And that's why I freaking watch, that's why I freaking, that's why I look at Archie Sonic online. Because it makes me remember a time where Sonic had more than just Oh, I'm just a jokey quibby machine. Baldy McNose here, you know. There was more to Sonic than just what there is now. There were stakes. People died. Sonic didn't always win. You know why I love you know why I love the Archie Sonic, the latest issue of the Archie Sonic online comic so much? Because Mecha Sally really does push all of Sonic's defeats in one fuck like in one fucking panel. Showcasing that Sonic has lost a lot of people. And it was very hard that he had to go fight Mecha Sally. That emotion is what I miss from Sonic. Even though it was never in the games. That's something that should have been in the games. I want Sonic to feel emotion. I want Sonic to cry. I want Sonic to be more than just, you know, a quip machine. Also, we could probably get back to the adventure style gameplay, but I'll talk about freaking Sonic Eclipse another day. Other, other than that, Neil, I just want to tell you right now that honestly, like, really, I really, I really don't like this issue literally because of a lot of different reasons, but mostly because now that I know that Jonathan H. Gray basically did this. So my story my story explanation does make sense and yours does too. But it just makes me mad because we never need to make a story we never need to make a story explanation. People people on the inside were just being a person on the inside was being a dick. Because his ship because these freaking writers think that their ships are what sells the comic when really no, it was the no, it's the fact that a bunch of freedom fighters were fighting Eggman and their relationships, their bonds are what kept us coming back. This history, this lore, everything that was a part of this word version of Sonic, we kept coming back to. And that's the thing I don't think Archie Sonic... Uh, that's the thing that IDW Sonic doesn't really seem to get. And that's the thing that Night of the Wind didn't seem to understand. Because to him, it's just one big joke. He said he's doing it like this, Dr. Greg. I'm like... 
I hate the Nostalgia Craig, but at least the Nostalgia Craig try at least the Nostalgia Craig tries to craft actual jokes. Like, at least he tries to craft actual fucking jokes. Like, seriously, not when it was just like, ooh, mm, ah, mm. Well, this is weird, and I, you know, this is over dramatic, and I'm like, it's supposed to be. Well, it, you know, it kind of is. You know, Sonic and Sonic are having a dramatic moment. It's supposed to fucking happen. Either way it goes, this is how I feel about. This is how I feel about it. Again, I didn't make this video to talk about this particular, this particular issue, but I did make it to talk about. To talk about well, this I did, but I do like how you just wanted to talk about this and you didn't, weren't really that intrusive. A lot of you are just like bugs, you know, bugs. You talk about this Sonic thing, talk about that Sonic thing. <sighs> the only thing, the only thing that I really, 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 really didn't like is Elias being king. Because Elias never wanted to be king. But he had to because Sonic just wasn't ready. But now Sonic's like, rule by my side, Sonic! And I'm like, no, that's not you, Sonic. That's not you calling the shots. That's your fear calling the shots. Because... The thing about Sally is the one thing that really appeals to me about Sally is that she never really wanted to be a princess. She doesn't really consider herself a princess. She considers herself just a regular, just regular girl or leader. Nothing else. So it's really weird to, for Sally to just take a 180. But I kind of figured. But now that I look at it, now that I know about Jonathan H. Gray, it's like. We have a whole nother bit of depth on this. <sighs> but yeah, again, look at Night of the Wind's content, if it's still around. I don't know. I haven't really saw it. I haven't really seen Night of the Wind stuff. And like, let me see if it's still around. Welcome back to reading Archie Sonic comic number 130. Because I want to show you it's this. To jump later. Let's go. Okay, okay, we got context, we got context. Well, again, he said, like, we got context. He was, I still think he was referencing me. I could be wrong, but it really does piss me off. <laughs> because, like, you did it in a very, like, con, like, you did it in a very, like, ah, yeah, we got context. May that, may that Bugsy motherfucker will get off my back. <laughs> Like this, like that's how I feel about it because, like his, like it's not funny that he does this. It really isn't. Oh, the RG Sonic comic spicy, like. I just. I just really had. I just really. Whenever I look at Night of the Wind's, like, stuff, it's just always the same kind of shit. Like, whenever I look at it, all these videos of him, like, railing. Railing on the, um. Well, on the RG Sonic comics just really take me off. It's he yeah, hasn't done it in a while, thank God. But it basically is like Sonic job being edgy in this thing. But here we go. Seriously, that, they broke up. It still sucks. The Sonic comics are confusing. Why a weird romantic drama story? Again, a person that doesn't really freaking know anything about these comics. Who tries to literally think that, trying to do that, making these general reactions are funny. To me, they're not. 
they're not funny. Because if you don't know the history or what went on in these comics, you don't know what exactly is going on, and therefore you are confused. But, oh, but lo and behold, Neil, those are supposed to be jokes. They're supposed to be funny. Motherfucker, I spent years making people laugh. What do you what do you what do you think you doing? <laughs> what do you think those videos accomplish? If I don't want nothing, they have a lot of like they have a lot of views. But honestly to me, I'm not laughing. I'm the only motherfucker that ain't laughing. <sighs> but that's how I feel, Neil. So, you know, the that's the real reason I made these videos. Because these videos. These videos right here are really symptomatic of what I've been saying about him. The fact that he really, really, and honestly doesn't really understand these comics. It doesn't want to. Thinking that thinking that these videos were just funny because he's just going in blind. And that's what pisses me off about it. And sure, that may be a little bit excessive or whatever, but it still makes me mad because it's like you're not really looking at these comics. You're not really seeing what they actually are, what their stories are, what the characters are going through. You're just sitting there making general jokes because it would because you know to actually make actual jokes about these situations, you actually have to read and understand what's going on. And to me, that isn't funny. Like, to me, that isn't funny that you're making general... It isn't funny that he's making general... Generalizations of... Of Sonic. Of the comic. And when he saw freaking the Akindas being slain, he's like, I'm glad that Ian Flynn took... Ian Flynn took over from this. I'm like... Kim Peters may not have been a good man. I ain't gonna... Kim Peters may not have been a good man, but I will always... Always give him credit on one thing. The fact that Knuckles had a race, a history, and a clan. He wasn't just the only one. The Knuckles miniseries was him was trying to was him trying to find his people. And I feel like that was more interesting than anything Sega cooked up. But oh but oh fucking well, you want in Flinny Boy to really show you that basically he did better. To me, as a person, I don't like I don't like Mr. I don't like Mr. Flynn because if you sick because if you try to sick people if you try to sick your fans on people who disagree with you, that is when I go that is when I'm like really fucking angry and pissed. Because that ain't cool. That isn't cool for anybody. And I wanna tell you that, Neil. Because like yeah, that's why I don't like Ian Flynn so much. You know, and I was one of the dudes who really gave that man a chance when he first started. I was like, you know, we all should calm down. We don't know what's going on. We don't know what's happening. Let's see what he let's see what he does. And you know, for a while I was cool with him, but then I found all that on the on the behind the behind the scenes stuff, and it was very disillusioning. These writers, some of these writers just don't want to, like, Jonathan H. Ray and even Jonathan H. Ray, which is now on freaking Ian Flynn's little writing team, they don't, they don't really think about these characters in mind. They just go like, yeah, we got free reign, boys. Let's do whatever the fuck we want. do 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 And then we got people like freaking Night the Wind, who sees these comics as weird fucking jokes that only that only edgy people and weird people like to read. The reason why people made the save Archie Sonic comic movement was because they didn't want years of history to be erased. And sure, they were overzealous, but they cared about this universe. That that a bunch of writers created. They cared about this Sonic that had more characterization than the game Sonic could ever possibly have. 
But that's a bad thing. That's a bad thing that the writers actually gave Sonic more of a personality, more of something to do than just him being a quipping machine. That, Neil, is what I don't like. And then we got all these other people who've never read the Sonic comic before looking at these freaking little, little panels of, like, out-of-context stuff, like, Son like Sally is slapping Sonic and want to put their own take on it when they haven't even read the damn thing. But then when I said, Sally's a brat and all this other stuff, like, there's a lot of people, like, Jaws, Sonic fan, and ha I was in the house, some other, some other motherfuckers. People who just don't understand, people who don't want to understand this at all. And I feel like now the wind is... One of those people. He just doesn't want to understand it. He doesn't. He tries so desperately to not understand anything. And that's how I feel, Neil. That's how I feel about it. And, oh yeah, man, I'm, I'm totally sorry that, um... I'm gonna have to, like, make another... I'm gonna have to make another comment on your comment. But yeah, that's why I really want to show you this. This one has audio, and I'm just so I'm I'm angry about it. I'm so kind of angry about it because it it brings me back to the fact that at least if no one, if only a only a select fans really like it, at least we have this Archie Sonic Online to carry it on. Even the pre reboot fans get some. Even the pre reboot, even the post reboot fans get something out of it too. They get, they get, they get the issues that weren't, that were almost created. The, the ideas of Ian Flynn made better by them. They never got finished. So, like, post and pre-reboot fans, we all get what we want. While the rest of the Sonic fandom are just, well, they're fighting amongst themselves. A bunch of other fans that aren't fighting amongst themselves and trying to turn out some good, some good art, some good games, and just have fun. Because the Sonic fandom isn't all about this or that. It's about doing what. It's about we all love this head down. We all like to have fun. Let's have fun. And for the people who don't, and for the people who still don't really understand the art. The Archie Sonic, I'll explain it. Because I'll actually because un, because unlike all these motherfuckers and unlike Night of the Wind, I'll actually give I'll actually explain it to you. I'll actually make you understand. That that is what I do. I don't hate on shit. I educate people. When it comes to this kind of Sonic. Because there's a lot of history and a lot of things to go through. And even things I don't even remember that I re-educate myself about so people can understand it. And y'all may think it's a waste. And, you know, these people may think it's a waste of time. But i rather, I rather try to make people understand why these comics are... Why people like these comics. I'm not trying to convince anybody to like these comics. But I'm trying to make people understand why we all find it very interesting. To oppose to just hating on it because we can, you know. That's my that's my thing. But that's about it, Neil. That's all I really have. Um, watch these videos at your own risk. I'm serious. Watch this one and watch this one, this one and this one at your own risk. Because this man says he's doing it to be funny. But when I really look at it, he's not really telling any jokes. He's just being he's just being idiotic. But I'll see but uh I'll see you later. So So see you later, Neil, and thank you. Again, you make you make my job as a YouTuber fun because you actually you actually give me some comments to actually talk about. So I think I can make videos too to answer questions. You know, more kind of almost more kind of close. 
or kind of close bond, you know, with one's with one's commenters, commenter, commentators. You know what I mean? That's what that's what I like about about you know responding to these because you make them fun. And honestly, like if you want to talk more, just just send me another comment. Send me another comment, man, and we'll talk. And oh yeah, do you like my new little snow, my little purple snow icon? I'm gonna have it all December. See you later, man. Peace.